Since its emergence, Sufism has attracted great minds from all around the world for its wisdom, mysticism and practical life advice. Perhaps the most famous Sufi of them all is Rumi. Regarded as one of the best-selling authors and poets of all time, even to this day, there is a lot that the modern man can learn from the philosophy of the 13th century Persian poet Rumi. Understanding the wisdom of Sufist thinking is a powerful tool for any man to live a fulfilled life. And both Sufism and the work of Rumi contain lessons that speak directly to the Sigma male way of life. So what is Sufism? Sufism is a branch of mysticism or ascetism that emerged in Islamic thought and has remained influential to this day. There are a few theories as to where the name Sufism comes from, but it's generally thought to come from the Arabic word Suf, referring to the type of wool that was traditionally worn by mystics and ascetics in the Islamic tradition. Belief and self-actualization form major tenets of the Sufist approach to life. In its original practice, Sufism was a rejection of worldliness and turned inward to experiences and meditative awareness in order to develop a higher form of awareness and, in the eyes of Muslim believers, attain personal experience of God in this lifetime. While Sufism does originate from a religious source, it's been studied and harnessed by even the most secular of thinkers for its ability to enrich life and create a sense of inner understanding. Sufism shares in many ways similarities with other life philosophies like Buddhism and Stoicism. And this is because Sufism requires its practitioners to develop their ability to practice a deep sense of inner control and awareness that in turn unlocks their ability to achieve experiences that are far richer than the average person. There are a number of practices within Sufism that lead its practitioners and those who practice like-minded approaches to life, such as Sigma males, to these heightened life experiences and a sense of enlightenment. One of the core tenets of the Sufi philosophy involves an acute awareness of one's inner self. Sufist practitioners attempt to form a constant, meditative and ever-present awareness of the existence of their god. This sense of awareness is very similar to the practice of mindfulness that many Sigma males use in order to root themselves in their environment and anchor them to their inner compass. Once practiced enough and eventually mastered, this self-awareness becomes like a second nature. It's automatic. Sufists don't need to remind themselves of their sense of faith, it's ever-present. It guides them through their lives and offers them a sense of purpose and meaning. In Sufism, this meditative awareness is known as dhikr. Dhikr is cultivated through the habituation of certain practices such as acts of remembrance and the repetition of mantras. And these practices can prove highly advantageous for a Sigma male as he walks his own path in life surrounded by a society that would much rather he conform. With all the pressures from the outside world to uphold the norms and expectations of traditional social hierarchies, Sigmas need to develop a strong inner compass and sense of self-affirmation in order to remain unbothered by the chorus of people who will inevitably try to pull him along in one direction or another. In order to achieve a strong sense of this inner awareness, or dhikr, Sufists develop another skill that is crucial to the Sigma male way of life. Patience and discipline. It's impossible to practice and develop dhikr without true dedication to the cause. Sufis are famed for their ability to remain steadfast to their faith and making their godly affirmations as habitual as possible. Sigmas, too, understand that without dedication and perseverance, it's unlikely that any great ambitions will ever be achieved. If a man can't hold himself to a disciplined set of values and behaviors in the small, day-to-day -day matters of life, how can he possibly expect to be able to achieve the more ambitious of his goals? Both Sufis and Sigmas share their desire to break away from the senselessness that comes with a life conforming to the masses. Sufis desire to actualize their relationship to the divine within their lives and sigmas break away from the confines of social expectations and dominance hierarchies in order to forge out a more unique and independent path in life. By going their own way in life, 
People like this tend to face skepticism and doubt along the way in their life journeys. And despite their ambitions, most people have a hard time dealing with the insecurity that self-doubt and skepticism introduce to one's life. Sufis and Sigmas overcome this sense of insecurity through their unparalleled sense of determination. They cannot be swayed from their path of enlightenment as they are single-minded in their determination. Anyone who tries to mess with or derail such a person will quickly learn that they've set themselves an almost impossible task. But Sufism is not merely a matter of mind. Sufism is also famous for its vast body of written work, including biographical accounts of enlightened thinkers, to poetry and works of guidance designed to help adherents reach their ascetic objectives. The most famous of all Sufi writers is the 13th century poet Rumi. Born in Persia as Jalal al-Din Rumi, but known to the world as Rumi. Hailed for his mastery of the Sufi philosophy and his captivating poetry that combines artistic genius with philosophical wisdom, Rumi's poetry contains many life lessons that can help the modern man achieve self-actualization in line with the Sufi tradition. Life Lessons from Rumi Rumi's poetry is so beloved not just for its beauty and its profound nature, but for the highly practical wisdom for a better life. For instance, Rumi reminds us not to underestimate ourselves. We are not small, we are the universe manifested. All that has happened in the history of the universe has created the conditions which allow you to live. As Rumi says, you were born with potential. You were born with goodness and trust. You were born with ideals and dreams. You were born with greatness. You were born with wings. You are not meant for crawling, so don't. You have wings. Learn to use them and fly. Rumi encourages self-belief as a critical tool for self-actualization. He emphasizes focus on the innate potential that you were born with and using that as a catalyst for drive and determination in life. To put yourself down or to focus solely on your inabilities is an injustice against the sheer potential you possess as a person. Rumi emphasizes the necessity of harnessing this potential through conscious action. In his poetry, he refers to the human spirit as being like gold. Those who do not look inward and find their direction are destined to be like liquid gold. Liquid gold that wants to stay melted in the furnace, so you won't have to become coins. To this, Rumi suggests that we must be ambitious. To push forward and strive to attain a higher state of existence. Why should I stay at the bottom of a well? when a rope is strong in my hand. Rumi urges that each man is capable of forging himself into something stronger and more profound and that the tools to do so already lie within us. Never back down, never give up. One of the reasons for Rumi's undying popularity is its truly inspirational nature. Rumi urges us not to give up when we encounter difficulties throughout life. Challenges are inevitable and it's our task and our duty to surmount difficulties and grow stronger for doing so. In his words, sorrow prepares you for joy. It violently sweeps everything out of your house so that new joy can find space to enter. It shakes the yellow leaves from the bow of your heart so that fresh green leaves can grow in their place. It pulls up the rotten roots so that new roots hidden beneath have room to grow. Whatever sorrow shakes from your heart, far better things will take their place. Life's challenges so often have the potential to knock us off our feet and steer us off our course that we may lose total faith in ourselves altogether. Rumi posits a different approach to life's tragedies and setbacks, one that is shared by Sigma males. In order to constantly move forward in life, especially when you are walking along the road less traveled and living a life dictated entirely by your own goals and inner compass, it's crucial that setbacks don't hold you back. 
Instead, setbacks must be viewed as an indication that change is necessary and that when such change occurs, you'll be better off for it. Sigmas don't run away from their problems. Rather, they confront them head on and learn to grow and innovate through their hardships. And what's more, Rumi speaks to the Sigma male's insatiable thirst for growth and knowledge. He once wrote that ignorance is God's prison. Knowing is God's palace. To run away from the truth is nothing more than an injustice to oneself. In order to reach the kind of self-actualization held in high esteem by the Sufis and Sigma males alike, one must be open. Open with the world around them and open with themselves. There are a lot of life lessons to be learned from the writings of the legendary Sufi, Rumi. And in the present day, Sigma males are one of the best living examples of this wisdom in practice. Thanks for watching today's video. In the coming weeks, I'll be releasing more philosophy related videos that touch on the Sigma male way of life. So feel free to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out.